Has your Flemish twist bowstring ever come unwound and you're not sure why? Well, today we're going to talk about how to avoid it, how to fix it, and we're going to trick Kramer while we're at it. Let's get to the point. Hey Kramer, what do you think about this bowstring? Does it look solid to you? Yeah. Looks pretty good. What's going on? Sabotage! They said the string looked fine. Here, let's, let's show what that looks like. It did! So take one shot. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna shoot this crap. It's gonna blow up on me. So one shot, now loop would have probably... Yeah! What do you think I am? A noob? The reason this happens to Flemish twist strings is a very simple issue to fix. There's one tiny detail that you need to pay attention to so your string doesn't blow up. Flemish twist strings are amazing because you can adjust the length of the string, but one downfall can be if you twist the string in the wrong direction. This is what I mean. With your Flemish twist string, you can twist it tighter or looser to make it shorter or longer. But when you twist it past straight, that's when it comes unraveled like it did with Kramer. With our bow strings, counterclockwise tightens the string and clockwise loosens it. And that's pretty much all bow strings. What's tricky about this is that once you twist it past straight, the string looks almost normal until you put it on your bow. And then this is an example of what it looks like to twist your string past straight. And by past straight, I mean the inside twists are going to be in the opposite direction from the Flemish twist on the end of the loops. So now the twist and the string are in the opposite direction of the twist and the Flemish. Yet, the string looks normal. To avoid the string unraveling, pay close attention to the twist in the middle of the bowstring, between here and here. If your twists are getting close to straight, you've taken too many twists out of the string. At a bare minimum, you want one twist per every three inches. So let's say your string did blow up. How do we fix that? Well, first I'm going to show you if the loop's still hanging on by a thread or a, a bundle of threads. <laughs> and secondly, if your loop came all the way undone, I'll show you how to fix that as well. If your loop's still hanging on, put the loop over a screw. And now you're going to put the Flemish twist back in the string. That is twisting both bundles to the right and crossing them to the left. It's easy to do the Flemish because the twist is already in the string for the most part. And let the tag ends pop out and go about an inch after this last tag end. Straighten this out and straighten this out. So it's as even as possible from here to the serving. Now you're going to put counterclockwise twists into the string, pull it tight, and you're good to go. Most of the time when the loop comes undone, the Flemish that were within the loop stays in the string. So you can see what used to be the loop right here. Put the loop over the screw and match up like colors. Now to make this a really smooth looking Flemish, I'm going to take the twist out of this and out of this bundle so that they'll mesh together really smooth, just like this. So now it's the same as the other side. You're just going to twist them to the right, cross to the left. Let the tag ends pop out as you go. Pinch it. Remove the twist between the splice and the serving. This is called the splice. Add twist into the entire string counterclockwise. Ah, uh, yeah. And then to see if you did it right, what can you do? You can pull it tight. You can put it on your bow. If you want this to look really clean, you can trim these tag ends. If you can't figure out how to fix your string and you bought a string from us, send it back to us. We'll fix it for you for free. Kramer will even pay for shipping. Stay shatterproof, twist your strings counterclockwise if you're trying to go shorter, and we'll see you on the next video.